Hello and welcome back. If you've been following me, then you have seen my previous two videos, hopefully, about learning how to adapt exercise to fit your needs as someone with a muscle disease with my mnemonic device, ADAPT, for adapting. And anyway, so the first video in this mini series about adapting was... Hmm, a for accessibility, D for is it doable, and today we are going to talk about the third A in ADAPT, apply. How are you going to apply what you've learned so far? So we're going to talk about a few different things. So we're going to learn how to adapt exercises to your strength level. I'm going to try. Everyone's different. This is going to be very hard. Ask me questions. If you have any questions about where you're at, what you might be able to do, ask me. I'll try to help you. As I've said before, I am not a physical therapist. I am not a, a health. I'm not a doctor. I'm not. I don't have anything to do with the health field other than I have a spinal muscular atrophy type 3. I'm a strong type 3. Most of you that know and follow me with my <laughs> SMA journey actually really already know that. So I can help you. I can try to help you and I'm more than happy to try to help you. But make sure you're also checking in with your physical therapist or your healthcare team before just to make sure you don't try anything that's going to hurt you because I don't want to be responsible for that. That's no fun. Getting hurt causes setbacks and you all know you don't want setbacks. And then, so let's just start there. So what are some different strength levels? So, I'll just start with me. I'll use myself and as, oh, I can't even talk today. I will use myself as an example. So, my strength level, my arms are super strong. Well, for the most part, I, I should be working out more because actually they used to be a lot stronger and then I stopped and now they are not as strong as they used to be, but I wouldn't call them weak at all. However, my legs are pretty weak. My quads and my abdominals and the inside of my thighs, I think it's the adductors. I get the adductors and the abductors, very confused, are all weak. And, you know, that's okay. For me, I've learned how to adapt exercises for me with leg raises. I have a really hard time doing them without anything. It actually really hurts my knees. So I use a belt to kind of assist my leg up. I've used my friends to kind of help assist my leg up. I've used bungees, which I will show you eventually. I just got some to attach to my bed since I'm no longer at my parents' house where I built that Pilates board, springboard a while ago to help with that. And so different concepts. It's all about being creative and thinking kind of outside the box. How, how can I do this? So if you are someone with weaker arms, maybe you're you might, and you want to raise your arm maybe above your head, maybe you're going to have to have someone like help push it up for you or pull it up for you. You go as far as you can and then someone else is going to lift it all the way up just so you get that range of motion. Or if like one side you can do it and the other side you can't, then maybe you say, oh, I can't think of it. The name of it, resistance bands. That's what it is. Or like a TheraBand and with your strong arm, pull the other one up. Or you could use like a pulley system. I guess that also requires both arms. Or you could use a robot and a pulley system. And if you're very into technology and science, I'm sure you could figure out how to build something. And you want to make sure that it is at your strength level. So you don't want to be doing, you don't want to be trying to do something that's like, oh, okay, I'm not able to do this now and I won't be able to do this for a long time probably. You don't want to try going into anything like that. You're going to get very unmotivated and it's just not going to be helpful. So you want to make sure, know where your strength is at and try to push yourself above that. If you're like feeling stuck, 
that's when you bring in those adaptations to exercises that you're like, oh my goodness, I feel like I could get stronger if I could just do this. Here's how I do it. So I'll show you some things later on in videos that will help. For now, I'm just talking about how to apply adapt when you're looking at things. So with when you're looking at applying it, you want to think, well, what will help me be able to do this correctly? So for me, for example, with leg raises, I can't get my leg all the way up um, doing them or up as high as I'm supposed to. So I'm like, okay, I know I needed something to help just a little bit. And I know that using a belt or a TheraBand or something or a resistance band or something of the sort to help me lift my leg up to the past the point where I can't get but where I can get full range of motion okay I know that will help me so that is how I adapted that I'm kind of drawing a blank on any other examples right now but that's okay like I said I'll make a video showing how I adapt things oh I also use TRX for squats which if I'm at the gym, it's totally fine because it's attached to the wall and I'm not worried about it coming undone and me falling. And Well, I am a little worried about me falling and hurting myself, but not as much as when I'm doing it over the door and worried about it coming off and me really falling and hurting myself. And then when you are trying to apply your adaptations, think about what, what can be used as a support for you. Do you need a support? What's a good support? I've mentioned a few things that I use. So a TheraBand, a TRX. I also use a Pilates ring. Sometimes I've mentioned, I think I mentioned a Pilates springboard, which is a totally different <laughs> subject. That was, I was bored during, during quarantine and I was like, oh, this looks like fun. Anyway, like it's a different subject. You can go back and watch that video of how I made that. And I don't remember if I've uploaded any of how I use it yet, but those are coming, I promise. Even though I'm not still where I have the springboard, I do go visit sometimes and I, I can make those videos. They, they will be coming eventually. Like everything else, it's just taking me a little longer for actually producing videos. And then another thing to look at when you are trying to apply an exercise to you and your abilities. Do you need someone to help? Could a friend help you? Could a caretaker help you? Could anyone, like, if someone's helping you, could you do it, do you think? Our brains are really interesting and a lot of times if we have, like, a friend or someone helping us, we can do more just thinking that they're helping when it's really all of us doing that. I have had my best friend help me doing like leg knee extensions and that's really interesting. I'll have to see if I can get her on a video to demonstrate how we do that. We have completely opposite work schedules and she's very shy, very camera shy and I'm actually very shy too. <laughs> I guess not as much as I used to be. But anyway, so yeah, I'll have to see if I can get her to show you guys how she helps me sometimes. And then, like I said, the brain is a very interesting organ. I guess it's an organ. Anyway, it's a very interesting body part and it, it can play tricks on you. So anyway, that is how you assess applying an exercise. Oh, sorry. That is how you assess applying an exercise adaptation to you to fit your needs and your strength levels. Anyway, as always, thank you for watching. If you like these videos, um, be sure to subscribe. There's a couple more coming to show you. If you haven't seen the other ones, go back and watch them. Go ahead and hit that like button if you like these and more are on their way. Have a good week, everybody.